We're here with Eric Espinosa, one of the spiciest guys in the industry. Would you say that? You might say that. <laughs> I'd say that. I mean, love your voice, man. It's fantastic. Thanks, bro. All right, so you guys knocked it out of the park last year with the knuckle sandwich. That was such a huge hit. I mean, it's it was incredible. I, I, I mean, listen, um, for the first time, I think, in our industry, we finally make a cigar for a celebrity. It, it's not a celebrity cigar. We just make it a cigar for a celebrity. And uh, it just took off. And one of the reasons it took off is because he's he's engaged, you know, he's involved. And with his platform, I think it's just going to help the industry in, in total. He's a he's a big advocate of cigars. And um, every time he can, he has a cigar in his mouth. Uh, he wears the T-shirts and diners driving and dives. And uh, a lot of people don't understand, he's a cigar smoker. He really, really is. Yep. Yeah, he started smoking uh, the little, like, $1 cigars in college. And, like, the Food Network's like, you can't be smoking cigars. You have an image. Well, yeah, when he got his star uh, in Hollywood, um, his agents didn't allow him to make a cigar, you know, because tobacco or whatever reason. And once he got his star and uh, he looked at everybody and said, now can I make my freaking cigar? And everyone looked at him and said, yeah, you've made it. So, you know, it's funny. He chose us. You know, he did his research. Uh, he didn't want to go with a, a large, large company because he felt he would get lost in the shuffle. And he reached out to us. And, and here we are. He's been absolutely fantastic, too. Like, every event he's at, he takes his undivided time with, like, everybody that shows up. Uh, he, he's great. That's what he does, man. Uh, yeah, you know, that's why the whole world loves him. And the whole world loves your cigar. And now you have the Connecticut version in the Knuckle Sandwich line. Tell us a little bit about that. Well, we just came out with it. Uh, we did a little so soft launch about a, a month ago, and we just got now a big shipment in. Uh, it comes in three sizes. Uh, you know, we wanted to cover all the bases. We, we have a Habano. We, you know, we have a, a Sumatra, the Maduro, and, and then we have, we just came out with the Connecticut. It comes in three sizes, Robusto, Short Churchill, and a Toro. And, and cigar is unbelievable. I mean, uh, you know, now we can have everyone uh, who smokes mild, now we have a cigar for them. Yeah, yeah we love, we're, we're huge fans of the Maduro. We have like four or five boxes of it, and now we have a box of Connecticut. Love them. Amazing blend. Can we talk a little bit about the Wasabi? That is such an interesting cigar. Well, the wasabi, uh, we, we, you know, it, it's, it's a candela wrapper, but we put a Habano tip on it uh, just to take that bitterness of the candela wrapper. And um, it's been such a great hit, and uh, we wanted to do a, a different size. A lot of people asked me to make a, a Lancera on it, so we finally did. We're launching it here at the show, uh, and, and it's very, very good. That's, that's fantastic. It's a very unique-looking cigar with that really green band, kind of in time for St. Patrick's Day. <laughs> oh, we didn't do it for that reason, but... Uh, you know, it's funny, I, I get the question, uh, do you put wasabi in it? No, we do not put wasabi in it. You just like spicy things. We do, you know, and, and it is a spicy cigar. So I guess that's where the, uh, the the confusion comes in, you know? Right, right. But you also make some really mild cigars that are delicious, kind of like the Laranja. Well, the Laranja isn't as mild as people think. We, we also do the crema, but the Laranja, uh, three years ago uh, during COVID, uh, they stopped growing that wrapper. It's a Brazilian wrapper. Uh, Havano grown in uh, in Brazil and we didn't have it we didn't have it for th three years of cigars and it was our best-selling cigar at the time and um, now we got it back they started growing it again we got all the wrapper we want uh, we just got a big shipment in so if you want it we got it now awesome how many boxes of that are you putting out this year as many as we can because we have the wrapper and it's not a limited cigar so uh, it's, it's as much as we can make awesome. and one more question uh, a lot of people are predicting kind of like a, the economy might turn down a little recession here. What would you say is the best bang for your buck cigar that you guys make? I'm going to I'm going to answer, answer that question as best as possible. Listen, you're spending the money on yourself. Cut corners in other places. Don't cut corners on what you eat, what you drink, what you smoke. You know, and if you love the cigar, you're smoking it. I don't cut corners in anything I do. I don't seek cigars for the pricing. If I want to smoke a good cigar and it's expensive, I buy it. So I don't cut corners. I mean, all of our cigars we make, we use quality tobacco. So, you know, you want to cut corners, cut corners on the car you buy, cut corners on other stuff. Don't cut corners on anything that you're going to put into your body. That's just the way I feel about that. That's, that's a good point. You know, recessions can be stressful, and cigars, they get rid of stress. Thank you very much, Eric. Absolutely. Thanks for having me. Thank you. Thank you so much, man. Yeah. I appreciate it. How'd you like that answer? That was great. I loved it.